गुड डे टू ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्यूटर शिक्षा इज सपोर्टेड बाय टुडे यू विल रिवाइज व्हाट यू लर्न इन द लास्ट क्लास कैन यू टेल व्हाट ऑल यू लर्न इन द लास्ट क्लास इन द लास्ट क्लास यू लर्न अबाउट सम ऑफ द ऑप्शंस ऑफ द व्यू मीनो लाइक नॉर्मल पेज ब्रेक प्रीव्यू टूल बार कॉलम एंड रो हेडर साइड बार एक्सेट्रा यू हैड ऑल्सो लर्न हाउ यू कैन हाइड और शो दीज ऑप्शन एंड हैड ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट सम ऑफ द फॉर्मूलाज कैन यू टेल वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नॉर्मल एंड पेज ब्रेक प्रीव्यू इन द नॉर्मल व्यू यू कैन सी योर एंटायर शीट वेर एज इन द पेज ब्रेक प्रीव्यू यू विल बी एबल टू सी ओनली टिल द प्लेस यू हैव टाइप एंड यू विल नॉट सी द एंटायर शीट कैन यू टेल वाई वी यूज द कॉलम एंड रो हेडर विद दी हेल्प ऑफ द कॉलम एंड रो हेडर यू कैन नो मोर अबाउट योर कॉलम्स एंड रोज and you will be able to get the address of your cell this tells you where your cursor currently is all of you now switch on your computers and open your file using the new method being taught to you let us now learn to use the windows shortcut command to open the spreadsheet for this you need to locate the windows button on your keyboard and keep it pressed with your left hand next press the r key once with your right hand a box opens which is called the run box if you see that there is something written in it already then use the backspace key to delete the same type s office in that space without leaving any gaps and then press the enter button or click on okay a window opens and you need to find the option for spreadsheet and left click once on the same this will open your spreadsheet file come let us now know what you will learn today you will first make a table and then in that table you will practice the use of formulas for sum average maximum or max and minimum or min you will then revise some of the options of the view menu like page break preview normal tool bar value highlighting column and row header make a table like the one shown to you in the picture or make a table by yourself have you all been able to make the table if not then go ahead and complete it quick quickly now all of you show how you will get the sum if you are facing a problem in this then watch the video and learn from it let us now practice once again how we apply the sum formula or do the addition so firstly we need to select the cell where you want the sum to appear or the result of addition to appear so we click on the cell it gets selected this is where we want the sum to come so for the sum formula as you know we have to type equal to and then you have to type sum then begin bracket which is shift and the 9 key then select the numbers you want to total so we want to total apples oranges and grapes so we select all of these 
then close the bracket with shift and zero and press enter and you get the answer there for the total of apple grapes and oranges now in f3 or for the b row let's try to use the symbol of addition which is the plus sign so in this case all you have to do is use equal to and then select the numbers that you want to add and use a plus sign in between the numbers so we have selected in the b row number of apples then the plus sign from the keyboard like this the grapes and oranges and then we just press enter and you will find the sum of the b row coming there now for the other rows since we want to repeat the same formula we just first click on the e3 row so that we can select that and then keeping our pointer on the dot black dot when the plus sign appears we just drag it down and you get all the sums of all the rows so this is how you will be using sum or addition for numbers next show how you will use the formula for average if you have a doubt learn from the video in this video we are going to practice and see how we get the average of numbers so firstly choose the column where you want the average to appear and in the title column or in the first row let's type average because we want the averages to appear in the f column now select where the average should appear so we have selected the f2 column to get the average of the first row or a row for any formula we have to start with equal to so we type the equal to sign and then for average we type a b e r a g e average then begin the bracket with shift and 9 and now we are going to just take the total of the number which is already available to us and divide it by 3 because this is an average of 3 numbers and the total was for these 3 numbers close the bracket and then just press enter so it will give you the sum total divided by the number of the items which was 3 and the average is given to you now in the next cell let's use the formula itself so we type equal to then we type average begin bracket shift and 9 and then we select the numbers itself the three numbers of which we want the average close the bracket and then just press enter for closing the bracket use shift and zero key press enter and you get the average now you can select this cell once again and keep your pointer on the black dot and drag it downwards to get the average for all the other rows this is how you will use the average formula for numbers on your sheet now use the max formula and show how you will find the maximum value for each row in your sheet if you have a problem then learn from the video by watching this video let us now see and practice how we use the maximum formula the maximum formula helps you to find the largest number or the maximum number from a range of numbers so since we want to use or get the maximum result let's first define a column where we want the maximum to appear so in the header row in the g column let's type maximum as the heading for this column and then in the cell below select that cell this is where we want the maximum number to appear for any formula we have to start with equal to sign so we have typed that and then just type max for maximum you can just type max then begin bracket which is shift and 9 
and then select the numbers, the three numbers, apple, apples, grapes and oranges. Select those numbers and then close the bracket by shift and zero key and press enter. As soon as you press enter, it will give you the number of the maximum item. So the maximum number in this case is 25. Now in the next cell, for the B row, again you can type the maximum just like what we did here by typing equal to then max and then selecting numbers or since we have already applied a formula on G2 cell, we can just select that and then keeping our pointer on the black dot, drag it down and you will get the maximum for all the rows. This is how you use the maximum formula. Now use the formula for min and show how you will get the minimum value for each row in your sheet. If you are in doubt, learn from the video. With the help of this next video, we are now going to see how we apply the minimum formula on our numbers. So since we want to get the minimum in the H column, in the title first row, let's write minimum as you can see in the video. Then in the next cell, which is the H2 cell, for the row A, we are trying to get the minimum value here. So we have to type equal to and then for minimum, you can just type MIN. After typing that, we have to begin bracket, which is shift and 9 key, and then select the numbers that you want to get the minimum from. So, since you want the minimum of apples, grapes, and oranges, you select 25, 25, 24, which is in the A row, and then close the bracket and press enter. As soon as you press enter, you can see that the minimum value on the in the A row which from 25, 25, 24 is 24 comes in your answer. Now for the other rows, you can just drag this, this cell. The formula is already there. So click on the black dot after selecting the cell and then drag downwards when the plus sign appears and you will see that the minimum for all the, all the rows is automatically coming in the answer for the minimum column. This is how you will apply the minimum formula. Now, all of you show how you will use page break preview on your sheet. And if you face a problem, then watch the video. We will now practice the use of the page break preview option. Page break, page break preview option will show you only the portion of the sheet where you have typed something. For this, take the pointer to the view menu in the menu bar, left click on it and then click on the page break preview option. And you can see that only the portion where you have typed something is left there to see the rest of the portion gets hidden. So this is how you will use the page break preview option. Now, all of you show how you will hide the toolbar in case of any problem, watch the video and learn. In this video, we are going to practice hiding the various toolbars from our sheet. So to hide the toolbars, we have to take our pointer to the view menu, left click on that, bring your pointer to the toolbar option and you see many options available. Click on the find option and the find toolbar gets hidden. It's not shown now on your sheet. Once again, take the pointer to the view menu, left click on that, click on the toolbars option and from the options which are now shown, click on the formatting toolbar option or the formatting option. So once you click there, even the formatting toolbar gets hidden. Again, bring your pointer to view toolbars and this time click on the standard option and the standard toolbar also gets hidden. One more time, take your pointer to the view menu, left click on that, bring your pointer to toolbars 
and from the options which are shown now click on the formula bar option as soon as you click there even the formula bar gets hidden next show how you will remove the column and row header and in case you face a problem learn from the video let us now see how we can hide the row and the column header also from our sheet right now we are seeing the print preview we are seeing the page break preview and you can see the row and the column headers to remove them to hide them we click on the view menu and then we click on the row column and row header option as soon as you click on that you will see that the column and the row headers get hidden and only the portion which is typed as the page break preview is visible to you so this is how you can remove the row and column headers from your sheet after this show how you will get your sheet in normal view if you have a problem watch the video let us watch this video and once again practice the use of the normal option right now the view that you see on your sheet is in page break preview view if you want to bring it back to normal take your pointer to the view menu click on it with the left button and then click on the normal option as soon as you click on the normal option you will see that your sheet comes back to the normal view as it was earlier so this is how you can bring back the sheet to normal from page break preview option now show how you will show the toolbar or bring it back watch the video if you need help we will now practice how we can bring back or show all the toolbars once again so as you can see right now in the video the toolbars are hidden and they are not there to show bring the pointer to the view option left click on it bring your pointer to toolbars and from the options which are available first let's click on formatting option and you can see that as soon as you click the formatting toolbar is shown on your sheet again bring the pointer to view bring it to toolbars and from the options this time let's click on standard and right now you don't see the standard toolbar so it's just that you have to move your formatting toolbar from this left side just keep the pointer pressed and drag it up and down and you can see the standard toolbar if it is not visible as is being shown in the video just drag it once more and it becomes visible since we want the other toolbars to be shown we bring the pointer to view click there click on toolbars option and this time we have to click on the formula bar to show the formula bar so you have now the formatting bar the formula bar and the standard toolbar shown on your sheet this is how you can use this option to hide and show the toolbar next go ahead and show the column and row header if you have a problem learn from the video with this video we will just practice how we can show the row and column header back in our sheet so to show the row and column headers we need to take the pointer to the view menu left click on that and then just click on the column and row headers option as soon as you click there you will find that the column and the row headers have been shown again on your sheet this is how you can show the column and row headers next all of you show how you will make the size of your sheet 120% if you have a doubt watch and learn from the video let us now see how we can use the zoom option to zoom our sheet to 120% size for this take your pointer to view menu click on that 
and then click on the zoom option. When you click on the zoom option, a box opens and it has various options. Since we want to change the size to 120%, we will click on the variable option and then you can use the up arrow or the down arrow to change the percentage or you can directly type 120 because we want 120%. Click on OK and you will see that your sheet zooms up to a size of 120%. This is how you can use Zoom. Since we will be ending today's class here, all of you close your file and properly shut down your computer. In today's class, you practice the use of some of the options of the view menu like normal, page break preview, toolbar, column and row header and Zoom. and then. You also practice the formulas for sum, average, maximum and minimum. Computer Shiksha is supported by... Thank you.